The question here now is how is it different to study via subjects versus studying from the patient point of view? And I think that you need to understand that the evolution of the exam in recent years has been to turn away from those things which are purely memorizational and recall and rote memorization and patellar reflex answers into the preparation of questions that truly test a student on his or her ability to think through a patient-centered problem. Now, when you do the aspect of thinking through the problem from the patient, realize that you have to consider that human beings are multi-organ system creatures, and just because you know a tremendous amount about the left kidney does not mean that you can ignore what the right kidney is doing. So you have to approach in medicine the patient from an overall view of what their problems are. If you think first about the patient, their age, gender, and time frame, and you categorize the patient according to those things that would be most likely in their age group, Remember that in female patients, we will secondarily evaluate them, not just because of age, but because of their position in the reproductive scale of the human being. Are they premenarchal? Are they in the menarche? Are they pregnant? Are they menopausal? All of those things factor into the physiology of the entire organism. The next step in evaluating a patient is to think about what their chief complaint is. And when that is evaluated, then I have to think about what organ systems could be involved. For example, if the complaint of the patient is something like shortness of breath, then I would think about the respiratory system and the cardiac system as being potential causes of those issues. And so I would begin by categorizing then the symptoms that the patient is manifesting into categories of what could be going wrong. Is it a respiratory problem that's causing the shortness of breath or is it a cardiac malfunction? So realize that when you are studying by a subject, when you're studying anatomy or physiology or pharmacology or even my field, infectious disease, you are only taking a very small particle of the patient and you're trying to pound things into that categorization. Instead, if you focus your mind on the patient and the chief complaint, you begin to see the response of the organism as a whole. And as you study, you should be very diligent to make certain that you can carry that understanding the whole way back to the molecular level of what is causing the disease. Because if you do that assiduously, you will find that every single exam question becomes at least a fair one. Thinking through the process from the patient perspective is what is going to allow you to focus on the problem solving. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more.